Have you ever wondered if hydroponic farming is profitable? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? Hydroponics, a method of growing plants without soil, has gained significant traction in recent years. It's a buzzword in the farming industry, and for good reason. So, why are people so interested in hydroponics? Well, hydroponic farming paves the way for a range of benefits that traditional farming methods just can't compete with. Imagine using up to 90% less water than traditional farming, maximizing your space efficiency, and having the ability to grow crops all year round, regardless of the season. It sounds impressive, doesn't it? These are the reasons why hydroponics is not just a trend, but a revolutionary way of farming that's here to stay. It's a method that promises to make farming more sustainable, efficient, and yes, potentially more profitable. So, let's delve deeper into the profitability of hydroponic farming. Let's take a look at a real-life success story. Meet Jane. Jane is a hydroponic farmer who has been at it for a little over five years. When she first started, she had a modest initial investment. She was armed with determination, a couple of thousand dollars, and a dream of growing fresh produce year-round. She turned a portion of her backyard into a hydroponic farm, making use of every square foot. She faced challenges, of course, as any new venture is bound to. The initial setup was a learning curve. She had to figure out the right balance of nutrients, the correct temperature levels for her crops, and the most effective lighting systems. There were times when her crops failed, and she questioned whether she'd made the right decision. But, she pushed through, learning from every setback. As time went on, Jane's perseverance started to pay off. She began to see her crops flourish, and her yields increase. She was now able to produce fresh, high-quality crops consistently. Her produce was a hit at local farmers' markets. People loved the freshness and quality of her crops, and she soon developed a loyal customer base. Fast forward to today, and Jane's hydroponic farm is thriving. The revenue generated from her hydroponic farm has been substantial. She's managed to recoup her initial investment, and then some. Jane's success story is a testament to the fact that hydroponic farming can indeed be profitable. Jane's journey wasn't easy, but it was worth it. She had to navigate through challenges, learn from her mistakes, and keep going even when things got tough. But her determination and willingness to learn paid off. Hydroponic farming has given Jane a steady source of income and the satisfaction of growing her own food. It's also opened up opportunities for her to educate others about the benefits of hydroponics, adding another layer of fulfillment to her work. As you can see, hydroponic farming has the potential to yield substantial profits. Jane's story is proof that with patience, perseverance, and a willingness to learn, hydroponic farming can indeed be a profitable venture. Let's break down the costs and revenues associated with hydroponic farming. Starting a hydroponic farm involves several key costs. The first one is the infrastructure, which includes the hydroponic system itself, grow lights, ventilation systems, and temperature control devices. The cost for these can range from a few hundred to several thousand dollars, depending on the scale of your operation. Next, we have the seeds. The cost of seeds can vary widely depending on what you're planning to grow, but let's say you're growing lettuce, which is a common choice for hydroponic farmers. A pack of lettuce seeds can cost around $10 and can yield hundreds of plants. Then there are the nutrients. Hydroponic farming relies on nutrient solutions to feed the plants, and these can cost around $20 for a gallon, which can last for several weeks depending on your farm's size. And let's not forget about labor. Depending on the scale of your operation, you might need to hire workers to help with tasks like planting, harvesting, and maintenance. The cost for this can vary widely, but as a rule of thumb, you should budget for at least the minimum wage in your area, so those are the costs. But what about the potential revenue? Well, this is where things get interesting, because hydroponic farming allows for year-round production and higher yields than traditional farming, the potential for profit is significant. For example, let's stick with our lettuce example. A head of hydroponically grown lettuce can sell for around $3. If you're growing a few hundred heads of lettuce every week, that's a revenue of over $1,000 weekly from lettuce alone. Of course, these are rough estimates, and the actual numbers can vary based on many factors, such as your location, the specific crops you're growing, and the size of your operation. But the bottom line is that with careful planning and management, hydroponic farming can be a profitable venture. So, the economics of hydroponic farming seem to be quite favorable. But what if you don't have a lot of space or a large budget, you might be asking? Well, let's dive into the story of a successful small-scale hydroponic farmer who managed to turn a profit despite these constraints. Meet Jane. Jane lives in an urban area with limited outdoor space. 
She didn't have a huge budget, but she had a dream to grow her own food and maybe even sell a little on the side. She started researching various methods and came across hydroponic farming. Intrigued, she decided to give it a go. Jane started small, converting a spare room in her apartment into a hydroponic farm. She invested in affordable hydroponic systems, focusing on leafy greens that would grow well indoors under LED lights. She did her homework, learning about the right nutrient solutions for her plants, the best temperature settings, and proper light exposure. Jane's first harvest was modest, but it was enough to supply her kitchen and sell a small surplus at a local farmer's market. She used the money she made to reinvest in her operation, gradually expanding and refining her system. Over time, Jane's small-scale hydroponic farm started to turn a profit. Her produce was popular at the local market due to its fresh, organic quality. Even better, because she was growing year-round, she could supply customers with fresh greens even in the middle of winter. The key to Jane's success was her persistent research and constant learning. She adapted her strategy as she went, learning from her mistakes and always looking for ways to improve her yield. She also made smart choices about what crops to grow, focusing on those with high demand and good profit margins. Jane's story is a testament to the fact that you don't need a lot of space or a large budget to start a profitable hydroponic farm. What you do need is passion, resilience, and a willingness to learn. So, size doesn't necessarily matter when it comes to the profitability of hydroponic farming. With the right approach and a bit of tenacity, even a small-scale operation can be a fruitful endeavor. So, is hydroponic farming profitable? We've explored this question from different angles throughout this video. We've seen how successful hydroponic farmers have turned a profit and dived into the economics of hydroponic farming. We've also looked at how hydroponic farming can work on a smaller scale. The benefits of hydroponic farming are clear. It's a sustainable and efficient method of farming that can yield high-quality crops year-round. It reduces the need for land and water, and allows for precise control over the growing conditions. The potential for profits, as shown by our case studies, is promising. The favorable economics of hydroponic farming, with its lower setup and operational costs, make it a viable choice. In conclusion, hydroponic farming can indeed be a profitable venture. If you liked this video and want to learn more about farming, please like, subscribe, and share. Before we end this video, let's pause for a moment. We've taken a deep dive into the world of hydroponic farming, exploring its profitability and potential. Now, it's your turn to join the conversation. If you've enjoyed our journey today and found the information valuable, we'd love for you to hit the like button. It's a simple action, but it goes a long way in supporting our channel and allows us to continue bringing you more content like this. Don't forget to subscribe to our Farming Know How channel if you haven't already. By subscribing, you'll become part of our growing community, and you'll be the first to know when we release our next video. We have a lot more exciting topics to cover, from innovative farming techniques to the latest trends in agriculture, and we can't wait to share them with you. Sharing is caring, right? If you think this video could be useful for someone you know, don't hesitate to pass it on. Share it with your friends, family, or anyone who might be interested in the world of hydroponic farming. You never know, you might inspire someone to start their own hydroponic farm. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on hydroponic farming? Do you have any questions or insights you'd like to share? Drop us a comment below. We love reading your feedback and we're always ready to engage in a meaningful discussion about farming and agriculture. Lastly, we'd like to leave you with this thought. Whether you're a seasoned farmer, a budding homesteader, or simply someone with an interest in sustainable living, remember that farming is more than just a job. It's a lifestyle that connects us to the earth and to each other. It's a way of life that requires dedication, patience, and a whole lot of love. Thank you for watching and remember, farming is not just a job, it's a way of life. See you in the next video.